Hello everyone, my name is Mariano Napoli and I'm going to talk about suspected transtiretin cardiac amyloidosis by cardiac scintigraphy in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, left ventricular hypertrophy and red flags manifestations. As an introduction, we can say that transtiretin cardiac amyloidosis or ATTR is a type of restrictive cardiomyopathy which typically manifests as heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. The presence of unexplained left ventricular hypertrophy associated with heart failure and red flags manifestations could increase the diagnostic probability. However, the diagnostic prevalence of this triad remains uncertain. Talking about the methods, we can say that 22 consecutive patients diagnosed with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, left ventricular hypertrophy with unexplained etiology and at least one red flag clinical manifestation underwent pyrophosphate scintigraphy or PYP. The patients were divided into two groups, positive and negative, and multiple logitis models were made with the variable P1P and explanatory variables. Talking about the results, among 22 patients, 15 had a positive PYP study for ATTR and the prevalence of this disease using the triad of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and explained left ventricular hypertrophy and at least one red flag manifestation was 68%. Patients with PYP positive tended to be male, older and with an aortic mean gradient and interventricular septum higher as compared to the group with a negative study. The most frequent red flag clinical manifestations were proteinuria and pseudoinfarction pattern. The presence of two or more red flags could increase the diagnostic probability of the test. As the conclusions, we can say that the prevalence of ATTR diagnosis by PYP scan increased notably when a clinical manifestation of a red flag was added to the suspected diagnosis of heart failure and left ventricular hypertrophy. The use of non-invasive techniques allow early identification and treatment of this underdiagnosis disease. Thank you very much.